Um, it's a piece, it's a fantasy about uh, songs, arias, and the introduction, the opening of the opera La Traviata by Giuseppe Verdi. In the 19th century, the opera was the big deal. It was like Hollywood. So many musicians did kind of uh, little arrangements from the operas to play the saloons, the chambers, and in all around Europe and the States. And this was arranged by Julian Arcas, uh, a great guitar master and teacher from teacher of Tarrega, the father of the modern guitar. And Tarrega used this piece uh, his whole life and uh, teaching his students. So I hope you enjoy.
next piece uh, I'm gonna play is by a Cuban composer called Leo Braue, and he the, the piece is called El de Cameron Negro, Black de Cameron. Whoops. In the Renaissance time, Boccaccio did some um, short stories. Um, I mean, it was typical in that time. The short stories about love and war and all human passions. And there is a German writer, I don't remember the name, who did the same with African stories. So he tried to use that, those medieval uh, songs or stories, they were similar. Uh, adapted to the tribes of Africa and sorry. so um, Leo Brauer used like three short stories to do this piece the first one is called El Arpa del Guerrero it's uh, the harp of the warrior and it's based on the story of a, um, a warrior who is a musician and they didn't let him play the harp so he escaped from the, he went away from the town. The town got attacked and they called him because he was the best warrior. So he came back, but he asked uh, if they won the, if they would win the war to go away again, but with his love and their heart. So he won and he went away. The second piece is called uh, La Huida de los Amantes por el Valle de los Ecos. It's the escape of the lovers uh, through the valley of the Valley of Echo, and it's based on the story of a princess who is in love with a warrior, and they don't let them be together. In the end, they escape from the town to the valley where there are like mountains and there is like echoes of the voices. The third one is called the Ballad, La Balada de la Doncella Enamorada, the Ballad of the Maiden, the Maiden in Love. And I mean, the, the songs are not based exactly on the story. It's like a, a compilation of ideas from this. So Leo Brauer uses those African rhythms that are mixed in the Caribe, no? in the Cuban, in, the, in Cuba, in Puerto Rico, also here, the, to create the symbols of those stories, to make you go.
with a very well-known piece by classical guitarist or classical guitarist lovers called Capricho Arabe by Francisco Tarrega. It was recorded by I think every every classical guitarist one day and I think it's a beautiful piece. Tarrega was from the east of Spain. He was born in the 19th century and died at the beginning of the 20th century. in that time really, um, how do you say, um, influenced by the exotic world of Andalusia, of the south of Spain, that was like the, the world, the capital of the world in the, in the medieval times, the Arab, the Arab world, who brought the culture to Europe in that time. And in France and other places, there were like this kind of remembering of the illusion of what was the Alhambra, the palace in the south of Spain, in Granada, that we say in Spain you cannot die without watching the, the Alhambra, the beautiful palace. Also, there is a myth that the king of the Arabs, when they were about to lose the war against the Christians, uh, he said he, wanted to, he didn't want to fight because they, he didn't want to destroy the Alhambra. So it's been conserved all these years. And Tarrega did this beautiful piece called Recuerdos de la Alhambra also. So he was really influenced by this movement. The BC in France, everyone. So this piece is called Capricho Arabe, with that kind of flavor of the old Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. 
start to play some songs. We have time still? Yes. <coughs> I'm really comfortable now. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, songs uh, played and sung. Um, could you help me? Mike is there? Mike, Mike. <laughs> oh. The next piece I'm going to play, it's called <clears throat> La Canción del Fuego Fatu. It's by Manuel de Falla, the, maybe the most important Spanish composer of all time, who influenced everyone. Um, this piece is by, uh, it was composed in the beginning of the 20th century, and it's part of a ballad called El Amor Brujo, uh, Witchcraft Love. The song um, has been used by other artists like Miles Davis and Gil Evans in an, an album called Sketches of Spain. Uh, they called it Willow Wisp. And the Willow Wisp uh, in the swamps, and I know you have a lot of them here in Florida. <laughs> I've seen it from the plane. <laughs> it was all water all around. And I was like, oh my god, that's like lots of alligators. <laughs> so in the swamps, um, sometimes there are some gases that come out and uh, create forms that people thought before that they were like ghosts or spirits. And there are all kinds of histories and myths about them. And well, the thing is, like, it's a gas, so sorry for people who thought that. Um, if you run from it, the air that you create when you run makes the gas follow you. So they thought these spirits would follow you. And if you run after it, the air creates that they go away. So the song says that love is like a will o wisp. So when you run from it, it comes after you. When you run after it, it runs away from you. I think you all know that. Sometimes it works. Thank you. 
traveled to South America uh, when the Spanish went there and also here and it got mixed with all the other cultures that were here so um, I'm gonna play um, Bolero it's maybe one of the most important representations of Latin American music and it's a mixture of the Spanish culture the Afro-Cuban culture or Afro uh, um, Puerto Rican Mexico and also the, the, the harmony of jazz from the states. So I think it's a good representation of the mixture of what's going on over here. <coughs> the song is called Contigo en la Distancia by Cesar Portillo de la Luz. Convertido en paz 
más allá de tus labios del sol y las estrellas contigo en la distancia amada mía estoy Someone told me he's from Peru here, family from Peru, and I, I'm gonna try to remember this Peruvian balls uh, called Nuestro Secreto. Forgive me if I forget something. centuries I I believe all music is this is the same if it's done with the heart and the soul and the reason everything together 
And there was this composer called John Dowland from England, contemporary of Shakespeare, who wrote songs for lute and voice. And he used to sing them for the kings. He worked for the king of Denmark and later on in England also. And I would like to sing a song for you from this incredible composer. Um, called Come Again, Sweet Love, Doth Now Invite. Hot, uh, hot chicken, <laughs> Nashville hot chicken. So, this song, I think that it's beautiful. One day I will give you a, I will play the whole song. <laughs> How is it? Um, I think it's really similar to what uh, the music in the 20th century, like the Beatles, is. So, I'm going to play a song by the Beatles called Blackbird. Oh, God. 
a blues that I always love to sing called uh, Please Send Me Someone to Love by Percy Mayfield. So I would love to sing that for you and thank you for listening and staying there. And, uh, thanks for that amigo. Oh, I 